An advanced mobility technique from kneeling position is the transition from kneeling to heel setting. So for this technique, uh, basically you'll be heel setting on the both heels and we will uh, practice with the patient coming to kneeling. If the patient has difficulty performing this movement, in order to facilitate it at the beginning, we could have a small ball between the patient's legs so that they are sitting on it and this will reduce the range of motion and make the exercise easier for the patient. Let's try this one first. Okay, good. So now uh, we are here sitting on the ball and for this technique, the patient, if they need support, they could place their hands on the patient's uh, shoulder. If not, they could simply clasp their hands and do the exercise against resistance. The PNF technique we will do is combination of isotonics. So here, the purpose is heel setting in front of the patient with both hands on the pelvis. And I want you to move into kneeling and I will resist you. This is providing resistance against isotonic contraction. Now I want you to hold. And this is against isometric contraction. Now I want you to gradually move down and don't move back. Don't let me move you fast. Don't let me move you fast. And this is providing resistance against eccentric contraction. So let's do it again. Move up. This is concentric contraction. Hold, hold, hold. This is isometric contraction. Now gradually move back. Don't let me move you fast. Don't let me move you fast. Okay, good job. And this is eccentric contraction. Notice that my hand placement does not change. And that the therapist might need to adjust the amount of resistance through the range. Because maybe uh, towards the end of the range, the effect of the gravity is major. So we could reduce the resistance. Whereas towards the end of the range, when we approach kneeling, the effect of gravity is minimal, so we could increase our resistance. Again, if you want to clasp your hands, okay, and I will resist you, move up, okay, and I resist the concentric contraction, hold, hold, isometric contraction, now gradually move back, gradually move back, and don't let me move you fast. Okay, good job, this is the eccentric contraction. Another modification on the technique we just showed is to do it from side setting. So here, instead of uh, having the patient start with their buttocks on the heels in heel setting, we will do it with the um, buttocks next to the heels. The advanced version is to start from this position, or if the patient needs assistance, we could use a ball. So, for the purposes of our model, <laughs> we will do it with the ball. Okay, so it's... Um, no, here, do this. <laughs> this version. Okay, and go ahead and move to kneeling. And I resist. And then hold, hold, hold. I resist the isometric contraction now. I move back. Don't let me move you fast. And this is the eccentric contraction. Okay.